Baruch here with Gen Connect, and I'm joined today by Jane Wales from the Aspen Institute. Hi, Jane. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, great. Do you enjoy Aspen? I, what do, you mean, do I enjoy it? That's an understatement. This place is incredible. <laughs> the work that you do here is absolutely inspiring. There's nothing like it. Thank you. Thank and you. let's talk specifically about your work on philanthropy. You just led a panel talking about new philanthropists. What makes somebody a new philanthropist versus an old philanthropist? It's really a point of view as opposed to as opposed to an age. What you're seeing nowadays is that there are folks who are making great wealth in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and rather than wait till retirement as our grandparents did, um, they're entering into philanthropy today. So then they're in the midst of their career, they're very much, uh, I would say, shaped and informed by their private sector experience. Um, they're engaged, they're strategic, they're very results oriented, and they're in a hurry. What's motivating these people to invest, if you will, in philanthropy? I think a real sense that they can make a difference. I mean, I think that that, you know, frankly, philanthropy is of no appeal if you think it can't, if it, if it can't be effective. Um, and these are people who, I mean, number one, I think the, uh, a key thing to know is that many of these folks have made their wealth as the result of a process of we, we call globalization. And I think that what they're doing is they're taking a look and they're saying, you know, this is great that new wealth has been created, but so have, you know, new disparities been created, sort of wrenching disparities, both within our country and abroad. And so they want to take the very process they benefited from, globalization, and make sure that its benefits are much more widely shared. So that will have them engage in all kinds of poverty alleviation programs, health programs, education programs, and the like. You mentioned results. What kind of results are we seeing specifically from new philanthropists? Well, I think the one thing about new philanthropists, is, as I said, they're in a hurry, and they think that the problems like poverty, like climate change, like structural injustice, that these are systems, and these systems need to be replaced by new systems uh, that are more benign. Um, the one downside, I mean, the, the, good, the good news in that is that folks are willing to look at multifaceted approaches that are, that are much more probably realistic. Um, and um, the bad news is they really hope for a silver bullet. <laughs> so that, that often takes up your first two years of setting a strategy is that search for that single, single silver bullet that'll end poverty or end a disease. Well, here's to newer and newer philanthropists. Mm -hmm. And for more with Jane and the Aspen Institute, be sure to check out Gen Connect.